what is going on guys well today i wanted to do two things um, one talk about the limited beta access and how to get free gold pieces and then two which we'll get into in a second is a little tutorial you guys have been asking me um, just to do the basics and go over some of the stuff i'll also do a couple of tips and tricks in this video as well so starting off guns up is a free to play game that will be available um, hopefully later on this year and it's going to be um, again free to play and it's a lot of fun if you guys haven't already signed up for the limited beta access definitely go do so the link will be in the description it's a guns up game website you could just go and sign up I would recommend if you have a North America account go and sign up with that account because this is limited to North America right now so if you guys need information or help on how to create a North America account, hit me up in the comment section below um, and I'll go through it with you guys because I want you to get into this beta. Um, also, if you guys want free gold in your part of this uh, limited beta access, that voucher code will be in the video description. Definitely go check that. Um, Get the code from the video description and then go enter it in the redeem section it will score you 600 gold pieces and sony san diego has given that to us as a thank you for playing the limited beta access and um to for us to enjoy the game even more and i'm telling you guys 600 gold pieces will go a long way in this game it will help you out tremendously so let's get right into it let's talk about some of the things that's going on in this game one thing that's very important that a lot of people overlook is your base your base is one of the things that you you want to make sure that you have at least good at least decent from the start um what you're going to want to do is you can you can start from all the way over here i I haven't because I want everything a little bit more condensed um, but I've played around with it and I definitely recommend you guys play around with positioning things and in different ways because you could probably find out um, better ways to get your base um, probably better more beast and better than mine so my idea my goal in this is to because um, if you if you play CPU defend um, then you will know it's all about time and the more time the players take um, to destroy your your tower the better score that you're gonna get the more points you earn and overall it's it's good and then also if somebody goes and tries to attack your base and in, in PvP it'll be easy uh, easier for you to win that battle so I've, I've gotten some barriers set up here um, to try to direct traffic this way and into this little mesh thing and then when they spawn in these sandbags will host um host soldiers and i right now i'm currently using grunts because they spawn in faster grunts and i think assault because they spawn in faster and then i get a bunker here which will which um which will also fire off into this crowd right here as you guys see right here of course it's not going to hit the rocks but it's going to hit everywhere in between but it, i put it right there in front of the rocks to protect it from all the other soldiers and then i get a sniper uh dude here and then as you guys can see i get a bunch of stuff here but the soldiers um sometimes they break this sometimes they just go through the crack and then I have them navigate through here and then through this crack right here too. The the, the finer the line you have for your uh, for the soldiers coming at you, the easier it is to pick them off and um, get them completely wiped out. Then I got an upgraded bunker here. I want to try to upgrade all of my bunkers and my tents um, before anything else. Um, so that way my, my dude's spawning faster and these guys are just beasts. Um, then I got another sniper here another bunker over here and then this guy is very important I would definitely recommend um, setting up a mortar I want to upgrade him even more because he helps out so much um, we'll we'll see uh, this is all the damage that I'm doing right now um, every area of it and I get the the whole vicinity pretty covered so let's get into an actual match a uh, PvP match 
so we're actually gonna uh, we're actually gonna go with um, you you want to pick your battles um, to where you win of course sometimes I try to push my luck and that's probably why I get more losses than than uh, than I should because I like to push my luck with things like this but let's get right into it let's see let's see this dude okay this guy how many bunkers does he have he's get he's got five bunkers and six towers I'm not prepared to go up against him so I'm going to pick um, the better fight in this instance um, just because it is so much better um, the cards that I usually go with is um, this guy right the decoy right here this is usually my go-to if I'm if I'm just using uh, like um, I, I call them kill streaks I'm not sure what they're called uh, <laughs> to be honest with you guys but all of these you can actually use in game and then these are perks um, I usually go with um, more more money um, I usually go with that if I'm going against a stronger opponent because you want to be able to buy in on soldiers as well um, but in this case I'm just gonna go with increased damage and then I'm going to go with a decoy and I am going to it you know it, it depends on on who you're going against again I can't stress that enough but um, since I'm not going against an opponent that is too difficult I'm gonna go with focus fire unit damage and decoy um, I'm using assault grunt ranger and medic if you guys do um, get the gold, I would definitely recommend saving some gold to unlock the medic and the ranger because they will be very useful. Um, the medic is very useful because it helps to to uh, um, heal the soldiers while you're battling. So let's get right into it. Um, a lot of you guys are curious about the trophies. Most of them you will earn during um, during the playthrough if you reach level 25 most most of the time you will um, earn those so what I like to do is I like to send out the assault the medic and and everything in between after that um, but I like to I like to send out more Rangers if I could depending on my money the money is actually in the left hand bottom corner um, and we'll see what we're going up against. Okay, so starting off he doesn't have anything um, too stressful to, to be concerned about So we'll just let our guys do or do their thing if there was a bunker or anything else then At the beginning then I would probably use a decoy and maybe even focus fire depending on how many how many soldiers are around so he's got one bunker here and he's got a couple he's got a sniper two snipers here but I'm not too concerned about it yet but now I am because more soldiers have come out so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the decoy in front of the bunker and that there it's gonna cause them to shoot at their own bunker and take it out what I like to do with the missiles is just fire it right on the base right away um, the, the sooner you get this base taken down the more points you will get um, which will be really really soon and like I said I'm going up against a, a stronger opponent and if I was like level 5 or 6 I wouldn't be able to go up against them at all um, but because I have the medic and the assault and the ranger unlocked it's a lot easier for me to um, progress and win through the battles um, I definitely recommend um, you will you will get valor and I definitely recommend you saving the valor to upgrade um, upgrade your characters as you see fit um, I didn't know in the beginning so I upgraded the grunt which I probably wouldn't have otherwise I would have probably saved it for the medic and for the ranger um, I chose the medic and the ranger because they are um, they don't cost as much as the uh, the flamer or the sniper or the machine gunner or the rocketeer um, right now you I can only rent the rocketeer and I can only rent the machine gunner because I'm not level 20 or level 24 um, I will be able to op unlock this guy really really soon but it, if you're going to be spending your gold on this then I definitely recommend again the ranger and the medic um, 
because you you can you can unlock both of those and still do double XP. Um, as far as the perks go, I'll show you guys the perks. There's a lot of perks you guys can use. I definitely recommend minimum wage as a start, um, especially for these uh, for these higher end characters, um, which cost more to buy in and to send out. Um, once you once you um, level up your character and unlock other slots, then I would definitely recommend health or maybe even uh, damage perk of some sort. Definitely play around with that. There, there, there is not nothing really set to. Um, oh, this is gonna make you win 100%. Um, but it will help you out. And also, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. You guys can purchase card packs if you like. But once you reach level 18, you will receive an epic card pack, which is pretty freaking awesome. I haven't done that yet. I was going to spend my gold on it, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to unlock characters. And I think that was the smarter thing to do since I'm going to get it um, in just a couple of matches anyways. And then once you unlock your characters, double XP is definitely something that you guys want to do. It costs 20, um, but you can get it up to 50 battles at a time, and uh, it does cost 90 gold pieces, but you're getting double XP, and um, if you're really invested in the game, you're going to want to level up as soon as possible, because you don't want your, uh, you, during PvPs and other people attacking your base, you want to be able to, to um, upgrade and have enough room to um, put as much as you, you need into this. And then also the dynamite, in case you guys are curious, really quickly, the dynamite is to destroy um, objects in the way. I wouldn't recommend destroying rocks because rocks kind of help with the traffic flow, but stuff like bushes or or um, this loose uh, gravel stuff um, looks like it used to be a home that got destroyed and it's just a foundation. I definitely recommend removing this stuff because Soldiers can walk right through it. You can put up a barrier. Um, you can put up a wall. But if you, you don't have this removed, uh, you won't be able to put anything there. And that that really sucks. So um, the more you upgrade your your um, your base, the more you're going to want to remove bushes and little things like that. Um, that's my opinion. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this game. Have you guys tried it out? If you've watched up until this point, put it in the comment section below. Um, the keyword is dynamite. Use it <laughs> creatively. That would be awesome. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next news update after I just drop my controller. <laughs>